My mother passed away when I was 17, and then a few years later, my father passed away. It was just uh, a lot of losses, a lot of grief. I kind of learned to bury that and keep going because I had a future. When I was about 29, I met my husband. Um, I had already had a son with uh, someone else. And then when I turned 30, it all kind of just came out. Around that time, I had surgery, and that was the first time I had ever taken pain medication. This was something that started very minimal, maybe once a week, and then it was three, five times a day. Eventually, my life just started unraveling. Um, I lost my job. Me and my husband were not doing so great. It finally came down to where he gave me an ultimatum. He was like, it's us or the drugs. It had overcome me. I believed that I could not function without that, that substance. And eventually, I ended up in jail. I just remember my attorney telling me one day, he's like, you have a choice. You could either do this rehabilitation program or you can go to prison. Like, you have those two choices. So of course, I chose the rehab program. And then I met Terry. And I remember her saying, like, we're gonna take this one step at a time and you're gonna get that restoration. And I did over a year. I started going to meetings with my husband. I started talking to him again. We started going to church again. I started keeping my son overnight. The last two years getting to watch Compassion United grow and knowing how many people they're going to impact. Everything that that program has given me, everything that they have done, it, I don't think there's enough ways I could say thank you to them.